You are welcome to my today's class. I'm so excited to meet us again. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. Please do subscribe. And today we'll be discussing a very important topic on operation research. Sit down, get your pen and paper. Let's learn. Okay, we'll be looking at transportation modeling, or you can say transportation problem, okay? And we'll be looking at one of the ways to solve tra transportation problems, okay? And today, our focus is on northwest corner method. We have other methods. We have the, the row minimum method. We have the column minimum. We have several of them. But I will be focusing on northwest corner method. Maybe in our subsequent class, we'll look at other methods. But today, I'll be focusing on northwest corner method. How you can use the northwest corner method to obtain a basic feasible solution of the transportation uh, problem. So let's go with this example I have here. Okay, on the screen, we have a transportation problem, okay? And we have demands, we have supply, and we have our towns where we are doing uh, our business. Okay, the transportation is ongoing from uh, Oka, Enugu, Aba, Asaba, Bini, Abe, Kuta, and uh, we don't, okay, let's say we are supplying yams, and the demands is for yams, okay? So our first problem here is to determine the value of x. We have x over there in the problem, and we don't know what it is. So we cannot start without knowing the value of x, okay? So the first thing we do is to find the value of x. And when we do, we now use the northwest corner method to calculate the total cost of the transportation, okay? So let's go. Okay, to determine the value of x, you should know that demand is equal to supply. And that is to say that these values on the de demand row is equal to the values on the supplier column. So 1,200 plus X plus 1,050 plus 250 is equal to 200 plus X plus 1,000 plus X plus uh, 1,000. We open the brackets. Okay, if we open the brackets, we will now have this, and then we'll collect like terms. Okay, get the like terms together, the x, the y, the x and the values, sorry, the x and the values, and we have our x to be 300. You can work it out, like I said before, get your pen and paper. Okay, so the value of x is uh, 300. Thank you. Okay, let's solve the second part of the problem whereby we are asked to use Northwest Corner Method to find the total cost of transportation. Okay, remember I told us that the sum of the supply values is equal to the sum of the demand values. And if you look here, I have done my substitutions. So here I have 500 instead of 200 plus X before. So I've done the substitution here, here, and here. So if I take the sum of the supply values and the sum of the demand values, I will have 2,800. So let me fix it here. So now I have the 2,800, okay? So I will now want us to pay attention on how you can use Northwest Corner Method to find the total cost of transportation, okay? So what you do is you start from the upper left of your cell, okay? The metric cell, this is like a metric. So we'll start from the upper left. We'll start from here. You can see where my pointer is. I'll start from here. Now, how you do it is between the demand and the supply, you choose the minimum value, okay? Here I have 500, here I have 1,005. So we'll go with 500, which is the minimum value. So the minimum is uh, 500. So I fix it there, okay? So I'll also subtract the 500 from both the demand and the supply. 
so let's subtract if i subtract 500 from here i have a thousand remaining And if I subtract here, I have nothing remaining. So I'm done with the supply. I will go down to the, I'll, I'll move down. So I'll move down here so that I'll also complete this side. So between here and here, I will work this out. So which of them is the minimum? So on demand, I have 1,000 remaining. On the supply, I have 1,300, so I go with 1,000. So I'll fix in the 1,000, okay? So I'll also subtract like I did before. So if I subtract 1,000 from here, I have zero now. And if I do on this side, I have 300, okay? I have 300, okay? So we are done on this both sides. Okay, the first row and the first column has been completed. We, we have exhausted everything here. This is zero. We have also exhausted everything here. And this is zero. So we are on the next diagonal, which is here. Okay, so here I have 1,050 and here I have 300. Which one is minima? So this is the minimum that is 300 so i'll fix in 300 here okay so i have it and i'm going to subtract 300 from the supply and uh, the demand so this is how from here now if i take off 300 i have zero remaining if i take off 300 here i have 750 remaining okay has 750 remaining okay so i'll move down i'll move down and uh, if i move down let me show you how i'll move down to this now so i can complete this side and i'm going to look at here i have 750 here i have 1000 so 750 is the minimum so i'll fix in 750 in that box so i have my 750 I will subtract from demand and also from uh, supply. So here, if I subtract 750, I have zero remaining. If I subtract 750 from this, I have 250 remaining. So on both sides now, I'm having 250, 250, and that is what it should be. When you get to the last uh, row and the last column, the value should get to be the same. So 250, 250, I'll fix in 250, and uh, I have it now. So if I subtract 250 from demand, I have zero remaining, and from supply, I have zero also. So I have nothing remaining, actually. So that is it. I've, I'm true with the table. So next now is to calculate the total cost of transportation the total cost of transportation this is it now let me explain what i did i multiplied like this so look up i hope you are with your pen and paper i multiplied 900 times 500 you can see it here plus 800 times 1000 you can see it here plus 1000 times 300 you can see it here plus 900 times 750, you can see it here, plus 800 times 250, you can see it here. And that is all. So you do your normal arithmetic, and then you will have your final answer, 2,425,000 in Naira. In Naira, we are Nigerians, okay? So it's in Naira. So the total cost of the transportation of our yam, our beans, our cassava is 2,425,000. Thanks for listening and try it yourself. Bye.